Now it is time for you to sit back, relax and take a breath as we embark <laughs> in a yoga masterclass with a difference. Um, this will only work if you've got a dog, but you might enjoy the, the relaxing nature of it anyway. <laughs> uh, to, uh, to tell us more, let's talk to Chief Yogi Mahani Jahangiri and her uh, yoga partner, Robbie the dog. Uh, lovely to see you. Um, <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Um, and, uh, and so um, we, we should point out that uh, Robbie has disgraced himself twice <laughs> in the past. First of all, um, in Britain's Got Talent in 2017, he weed on David Williams' shoes. And, yeah. um, and we have a little clip from the last time you were on this show. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> right. What we're going to do is try and lift our, the back legs off our dog, the hind legs, oh. and just massage their glutes. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh. OK, go on. Do it. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> This is live. <laughs> this is another version. <laughs> it's the humping dog pose, yeah. So hopefully we're looking for a little bit more calm today, this time around. I'm not. So expl explain dog yoga. Right. So as explained previously when I met you, it's yoga for you, the human, and your dog. And the most important thing is, is that we focus on ourselves, on our breathing, and that will transmit onto the dogs. You don't necessarily have to have your dog participating in your yoga practice for him to absorb your calm. This is the beauty about yoga. It works with the dog just watching you on the side and you just follow me. I'm, you know, I'm your guru, just follow me and we'll get through it. And then the dog can absorb. So this is the beauty about yoga. And what are the benefits of this compared to normal yoga, say? This is the great thing, um, you know, being cooped up in here, uh, you know, obviously we're all suffering with anxiety, potentially depression and everything. And connecting with your dog on a natural level through your yoga practice releases oxytocin in the brain and serotonin. And so... And the, it, and the, the dog is, doesn't have to... As you said, it, you know, it's fine to, to watch there. This is... Uh, the dog can participate if it wants to. No one's forced okay. here. And the most important thing is because you're with your dog almost 24 seven, and I think Robbie does want to divorce me at some point, um, you know, he, he, um, we don't want to overload them and pull them and drag them to the yoga mat because they've, they've had enough of us basically. So it's good to just leave them, allow them to come towards you, you know, like your face, hump, jump, whatever. I mean, it's a bit crazy, but it works. And the more you do it, the more it's going to work. Hump and jump. <laughs> <laughs> Hump and jump. Um, and okay. you don't need any kit, particularly. I mean, I guess you need a dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can also use your husband, your children, your turtle. It's fine. Um, you know, it's, it's yoga at the end of the day. It's yoga for you. Uh, but it's really nice if your dog gets involved. So, yes, if you have a dog, it's great. You need a yoga mat um, and potentially a blanket. So, for relaxation, I will ask. Uh, people who participate to cover themselves with relaxation, okay. so that's really nice. And maybe a cushion for the dog, and no treats, no treats for Doga. Okay, so let's um, let's have let's have a go then. Let's uh, let's uh, watch you watch you uh, embark on this, um, this spiritual journey. So, welcome to Doga. Uh, we're going to start with the breath, everybody. The most important thing in yoga is to keep your lips closed and breathe through your nose. Now, if your dog is there, you can place your dog on your thighs. If it's a large dog, you can take your large dog between uh, your legs and we're gonna breathe. Just deep breathing through the nose, inhale. Don't lift your shoulders, I'm watching you. <laughs> Exhale. Long, deep breaths out again, inhale. Exhale. There's a little bit of a sound in the back of your throat, a rasp and sound. Deep breathing. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. You can do this for five minutes. And then with the breath, you're going to turn into one position. This is called the boat. So this is just a suggestion. You can do this without your dog. Lift your knees up. If you have a small dog, place your dog on your thighs. Your dog is the sailor. You are the boat, not the Titanic. Uh, slide your large dog 
underneath your legs. You can just place your feet on your dog. And then here we're gonna do breath of fire. So we're gonna really exhale through our mouth like a panting dog. This releases CO2, it replenishes O2. adventurous and really start working on trust and balance you can catch your toes and just keep breathing <laughs> and then slowly bend your knees and hug your dog into your chest Deep breathing again, inhaling. Exhale. That's lovely. Ah, very, it's very, it's, very relaxing. I mean, the was, dog was incredibly relaxed. It really was. I mean, you could see the dog just like getting more and more chilled out by the Unless second. Unless the dog is, is thinking, oh God, not the yoga again. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, can we, where can we find you? Whereabouts are, because you do a lot of this online. Where are you? I'm uh, www.dogayoga.fit. Dogayoga.fit. You can uh, join my Zoom classes. And sometimes I'm on Instagram as well, Doga Mahani, M A H N Y. So you can just follow me and I'll keep you updated for classes. Oh, well, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. You and he was very well behaved. No jump you and hump today. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>